So hi everyone, I am Kashish and I will be your host for today's session. And I'm the student community head at MyWays. So firstly, thank you so much everybody for joining in for such an uh, insightful session. And I hope you all find this session informative and it's a good learning procedure for all of you. So to start with, I would like to tell you about MyWays. So it is an AI and career growth platform for the students. We aim to help them being employable in their desired roles. We provide them with internship opportunities, courses, training sessions, and we also help them in tracking their growth. So just like that, uh, these masterclasses are one of our initiatives wherein every week we have an industry expert with us. Like today, we have Mr. Samar Mehta with us, who is our uh, uh, mentor for the day, right? And uh, so he is currently uh, working with Liminen, where he handles strategy and operations. He graduated from IIM Kozi Kode, and he's passionate about mentoring students. And he's also a part of LinkedIn uh, ex Creator Accelerator India, right? And today uh, he is going to help you build a tech-focused CV to showcase your skills and expertise. So he will be uh, demonstrating technical knowledge through projects and he also help you to build a portfolio website to complement your CV. He will be also discussing about application tracking system, which is ATS. And one bonus thing for all of you, he will be uh, offering a live resume review at the end of the session. So I hope you all like this session. So without any further ado, let's begin. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Kashish, for that. Uh, welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, it would be great if it is possible for uh, you all to switch on your camera. For whoever it might be possible, it would be great because uh, it's always good to have, uh, you know, a more interactive session. And I try to make all the sessions that I go to more interactive, more dialogue driven rather than just me coming on and talking, right? So for those of all, for those of you who, who it's possible for, please, 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 uh, I, it would be great if you guys could switch on your cameras. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much guys for joining in and super, super stoked to have you all here. Uh, let me just share my screen. I hope my screen's visible. Uh, guys, a yes, no on the chat would be super helpful. Okay. Thank you so much, Abhishek. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So guys, a little introduction about myself. Um, I am all, I've always been a startup person myself. I've always loved working with startups. I come from an science slash computer background wherein I studied Bachelor of Computer Applications in my undergrad with, uh, with a majors in data science and data analytics. And uh, during my undergrad, I was able to publish seven research papers in the domain of tech, data, and, data, and analytics. And post that, I ended up doing my MBA from IIM Kodi Code. And right now, like Kashish already mentioned, I am working in the founder's office of Liminal, which is a crypto startup. And I do a bunch of things on the side, which includes content. Like I produce content on LinkedIn. I have my own podcast, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So guys, today's session is primarily focused on CV, how to have a tech CV, how to have a portfolio for all the tech work that you've done, right? Um, so guys, uh, if you could just use the chat and let me know um, how many of you face or face a challenge or face a problem while you are making tech CVs or you face a problem in highlighting, uh, you know, your tech projects. How many of you face that problem? You can use the chat to answer this question. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. We have, okay. So there are a lot of people who face this problem, right? 
now can anyone basically tell what is the problem that they face what is the challenge that they face like are they having problems representing it are they having problems showing it what is the challenge that they what is the challenge that you guys face guys anyone like do you have problems building resumes do you have problems building portfolio websites what is it representation what to put what not to put okay okay this is super helpful right so essentially this is what we wanted to dis this is what today's session is all about to help you navigate in terms of how should you tackle these problems right so today we are going to focus on four things one how to build a tech focused cv to showcase your skills and expertise how to best demonstrate technical knowledge through projects how to build a portfolio website to complement your cv and how to best optimize cv for application tracking systems okay now to answer all three questions of yours i will show you three profiles okay this is the first profile let me open it let me share my screen again uh okay so his name or this person's profile whom you see on your screen his name is debarya das he happens to be a senior of mine from school he's worked in tech all his life and this is one portfolio example of how you can represent your cv the things that you've done in life etc etc right so over here he's saying hello i'm debarya das people call me dd i read i write on my blog and on twitter so he has basically linked this and he has also linked his facebook twitter linkedin github and mail over here so because you guys are in the tech ecosystem it is very very important that whatever projects you do should be on your github which can directly get linked right so if i am someone who's a tech recruiter and i'm coming to see his website i directly can click over here and i'll get redirected to his github link right now over here he is given a very brief introduction of himself and what he's done so he's saying that he has been working he's on the founding team of glean a 1 billion dollar series c startup founded in 2019 in palo alto which is america where we are building the where we are building the most intelligent search for workplace he is leading several engineering teams working on search and intelligence then he spoke about how he worked at google uh, on their search query and before that he was working with facebook as well he has done his bachelor's and master's in computer science from cornell after finishing school in calcutta etc 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 now the next part over here is about his work experience in terms of where all has he worked right so this is where he's currently working this is where he has worked in the past his other internships that are there his schooling etc 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 now over here this is where the interesting stuff comes right a lot of times what happens is we as freshers do a lot of projects which which get a lot of media mention what i mean by media mention is that people speak about it a lot people get to know about it a lot right so essentially he has done a lot of things that have gotten media mention and over here you can see that he has represented all of it like everything that he has done right so over here he is written in july in june 20 in june 2013 i published hacking into the indian education system about some code i wrote to expose glaring anomalies in one of india's premier educational boards and it got a lot of coverage so he has linked all the coverages that he's got in and he's also linked his project right now if you scroll down he's also mentioned about all the different talks all the different colleges that he's spoken at right and over here he's also spoken of all the projects the various type of projects that he's done like which delhi university college will i get into looking back at 9 years of hacker rank etc 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 right 
So the reason why I'm showing you this is you as students of technology, you as students of computer science, right? When you are building your portfolio website, this is how things should be structured, right? One, like your education should be one, your project should be one, your, uh, what should I say? If any, if there is anything that you've done that has received a lot of PR mention, that should be one part. And what I'll do is I'll also link this, I'll also put this website on chat so that you guys have it as reference and you can use it anytime you want. But this is just one way of entirely representing, right? And the way he's done it is so nice that he has mentioned at all points in time what his project was, right? Like, let's just say this, connect for intelligence, used play to make a Java backed deterministic minimax mini tree based AI with optimization enabling a 13 move look ahead, right? So this is a game that the game that he had built. Now, if we look at his most simpler projects, right? Uh, say cheer peer monitors your vital signs with human API, perform sentiment analysis on your Facebook conversations to find who cheers you up and connects you with them when it, when it detects uh, stress, right? So he's just talking about different, different projects that he's done. Over here, he also talks about a lot of his co coursework based projects and other personal projects that he has done, right? And over here, he talks about his non-work type skills. The reason why I'm again showing this website, it's a very deep website. It, it is a very well-made website. But the reason why I'm showing it to you guys over here basically is to un basically is to tell you that whenever you guys are building your portfolio website, right, you need to make it in such a way that your education, that your work experience, that your CV, that your projects, everything gets highlighted in some way, right? So many a times what happens is a recruiter might not see your CV but might just land up on your website, right? Like even if I open his GitHub. So over here is entire GitHub or his entire coding that he's done, right? All of it is pre present over here. So if I am, if I am a recruiter, if I'm looking at it, I can just directly go to his projects. He has not put any projects here, but if I go to his repositories, I can see the different, different things that he's built. And it's all public over here. So I can just go look at it and download it and use it for my reference, right? The reason why, again, I show this is just as an example of how you can basically build your website. Now coming to the most important bit, let's see his resume, right? So the, again, one rule with making a tech-based resumes is, is that it has to be one pager. Your technical resumes cannot be more than a page. The technical resumes have to be one page. And if you look at this, his entire resume is one page. It is not more than a page, right? And he has mentioned everything that is necessary. Over here, he's spoken of his college. Over here, he's spoken of his school. Over here, he has given all the relevant or the necessary links that a recruiter might need or, a, or that a recruiter might look at when they are basically shortlisting your profile. He has talked about his coursework. Coursework basically means the different courses that he might have taken in college, right? So he has talked about machine learning, open source software engineering, graphics, compilers, cloud computing, evolutionary computation, defending computer next networks, machine learning, etc. Because he has done a master's and bachelor's both. This is his master's courses and these are his bachelor's courses wherein he studied operations, operating system, functional programming, computer gra graphics, etc, etc. He's also spoken of his skills in terms of programming wherein Java, Shell, Python, JS, PHP, LaTeX, OCaml, etc, 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 right? He's also spoken about his experience. Okay, someone, how much time do recruiters spend on a resume? I'll come to that, Dhanush. So over here, he's spoken of his experience. Where has he worked at? What work has he done, right? So if you look at, say, Google, he's written his position. He's written the 
smaller team and the larger team he's worked at he's written he's written from when to when he has worked what places and what was his work similarly with facebook right he's also mentioned about the various internships that he's done over here he's talking about the various research projects that he has done throughout his life uh, the different awards that he's gotten and the different publication or research papers he's made right so all in all in this one page of information you see that he has been able to fit everything right so whenever you guys are making a technical cv it is very important that in one page in one single page you are able to fit everything that you want to show right because if a cv is more than a pager or it goes beyond a page right it does not make sense because no one will be looking at two or three pages everyone will stop at one page right so it is very important that the entire cv gets fit into one page okay um so over here i will just take one question that someone had asked uh so dhanush had asked a question saying that how much time do recruiters spend on a resume what do they look in a resume so dhanush that's a very good question right um on average right a recruiter will at max spend um 30 seconds looking at a resume not more than that 30 seconds is the maximum time a recruiter might be looking at your resume uh that is it he will he won't look at it for more than 30 seconds and to answer your second question what do they look for in your resume right so essentially dhanush to answer your question right the most important things that a recruiter might be looking at in your resume it are relevant keywords or relevant experience that he or she might be requiring for the role they are hiring for right so if say they are hiring someone for the role of a tester right a, co a code tester they will see that what uh, proficiency you have in terms of various programming languages do you have any experience of testing code these are the certain things that they will be looking at um does that answer your question dhanush uh, yes sir thank you so much okay so before moving on to the next portfolio website or the next cv i would want to take this opportunity to open the board and asking people that uh, do you guys have any doubts queries questions on what i showed okay anyone else guys any questions any doubts any query see if you are only listening and not understanding it won't be of help because it is a very um what should i say dialogue driven thing right uh, exact difference between cv and resume okay so harish cv and resume are just two words that are used very interchangeably right um again it is it is one and the same thing it is actually one and the same thing right uh so there is there is no difference per se some people call it cv some people call it resume does that make sense okay anyone else guys any other questions uh, excuse me sir i'm having a question sure please so if we fit too much uh, data into one single page doesn't it look crowded it's not about crowded right you need to understand that most of this most of these cvs go through something called as ats right which is a software that will just analyze the entire resume pick up keywords and give your resume a score okay so rarely there are cases wherein an hr or a recruiter is manually looking at your cv it is always going to go through some uh, software so ideally it is of good practice that you get everything in uh, you know one what should i say pager if i may say so Does that make sense? Ah uh, yes, sir. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Sir, uh, as a fresher, we are not having such kind of experience or 
the things that have been written in the experience of that sir uh, das sir yes right? uh, but uh, being a fresher sir what could be the points that we should put up uh, in our resume that should catch the attendant uh, attention of the 100% 100% so i'll tell you right i was a fresher okay when when i when i was uh, moving into my mba at that point in time also i was a fresher right so while you are a fresher the most important thing to fill your cv is a you either do a lot of projects right what i mean by projects is that you do coursework related projects in college itself right like you built a game you built an algorithmic trading software right all these things are projects which you do on your own correct now those are things that you can mention <coughs> on on your cv right another thing that you can basically mention on your cv is certification courses right if you've done any certification courses that is also something that can be easily mentioned on your cv a uh, third thing that you can mention on your cv is that many many a times people do a lot of these life projects in college internships in college so i would also recommend you guys to do a lot of these life projects a lot of internships in college as well because this helps you you know build your entire resume right but it has to start like that is the place essentially where it has to start and just to answer uh, whose question was this sorry if i may ask sir it was mine uh, mayur mayur okay so now that mayur you put up this question i will actually show you guys something that i had made in the second year of my college okay so this is basically a portfolio website that i had made in the second year of my undergrad college when i was pursuing bca and i see there are a lot of these there are a lot of bca mca students over here so this is something that i had made in my second year of college uh so just to give you a reference right i was a fresher then remember this i did not have any experience mayur so i had given my education this is basically some of the internships that i had done so i had mentioned all these internships that i had done see all of them are internships then i had made a lot of these projects right i had done a sentimental analysis on demonetization i had done a plain simple business analysis i had made a paddle game i had made an analysis on pokemon etc etc i had done an analysis on breast cancer right these are some analysis projects that i had done which i have mentioned here i had also some research papers which got published i had mentioned those research papers as well and then here is my resume so moving on to my resume right see i had put in my education in terms of where i have been working relevant links to my profile so my github link my kegel link the course work that i have done in my undergrad the course work that i have been doing online programming languages that i have been familiar with and over here i have mentioned all my internships and project experience so mayur again to answer your question right it is essentially if you are a fresher it makes a lot of sense to talk about all the projects that you've done all the coursework things that you've done any certifications that you've done right that is essentially what needs to go on your cv does that make sense yes sir uh was i able to clear the doubt mayur yes sir yes sir okay Thank um you. Uh, so somya is asking sir i am a pharmacy student so what kind of stuff i should mention in the cv uh, somya what what do you really want to do in the future hello somya are you there hello uh somya is somya there on call okay cool so guys before before moving to the next part last thing any other questions uh, okay ananya is asking how about extra curricular activities on resume you can ananya there is no there is so okay guys let me let me explain it to you in this manner right 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ऑन योर सी वी एज अ फ्रेशर और एज एन एक्सपीरियंस पर्सन इज द एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू हैव कुड बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंटर्नशिप कुड बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर फुल टाइम जॉब बट द एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू हैव इज वॉट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉलोड बाई योर एजुकेशन फॉलोड बाई एनी प्रोजेक्ट सर्टिफिकेशन ऑन कोर्स वर्क एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा followed by all these extracurricular things right so essentially what you have to do is start with experience and then all these things will follow but most important is ex- experience followed by education followed by uh, life projects internships etc etc and then it and then it trickles down right so that is how the stacking happens uh ananya does that answer your question Ananya A does that answer your question? Okay. Cool. Um, I am a mechanical engineering student. Uh, when what can I mention in my resume? Uh, Dilip, it's the same thing that I mentioned, right? Academics, internships, life projects, certifications, coursework. All these things are something that you need to mention on your resume, right? uh i have worked at a company but i don't have any certificate so should i mention uh, abhishek it would be great if you could try and get certificates or certificate of proof from your company because then that becomes valid without having certificate of proof it becomes very difficult for you to prove to others that you have worked with uh, say a particular company so i would highly 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 recommend you to get that certificate of proof from that particular organization if i may say so does that answer your question uh sorry let me just see i have worked at a company but i don't have any certification it was not a way it's fine abhishek but you need to have some certification of proof to show to the recruiter as well that hey i have worked at this company because without certification of proof it will be very difficult for you to show to people that hey you worked at this organization so it would be great if you could get that particular proof from them right um if 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 we are done with the questions i will show you guys one more portfolio website um again this is from a school senior of mine who has been working at uh, facebook i'm dropping his website link in chat for everyone's reference you guys can look up look up this website whenever you have time so his website is very simple not that flamboyant as it was uh, for debargia he's mentioned all his links and he's also mentioned his github if we open his github we see the different projects that he's done etc 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 you can just open and see what the particular project does if we go to his about section he talks about hey i am sumit i graduated from university of pennsylvania in with a bs and ms in computer science and currently work as a software engineer on the business integrity team at whatsapp he's given some personal recommendations over here uh then if 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 we go back i will show you his resume so this is again a very similar format to what i had shown you guys his education is given his teaching experience has been over here so with a student he was also assisting his professor to teach other students he had his own youtube channel so he has spoken about his youtube channel over here as well he talks about the different language proficiencies that he has in and his frameworks that he is good with his selected coursework in terms of what he's done his experience and his interns so essentially all that he's done is provided over here okay i have a few questions uh does it matter does it matter if resume goes to two pages uh, ananya ideally it's not good practice for us to have resumes which go for more than one page 
please 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 keep it keep it you know to a pager if it goes beyond a page it's a problem but uh, again this was another model resume that i wanted to show you guys it's it's a very good format is what i feel and before reviewing one or two of your resumes of what you guys have submitted i would want to show you one last thing before we move on to that part just one sec okay so this is uh, this is basically ats okay ats stands for application tracking system right what this basically means is that there are softwares that are created which automatically analyze your resume which automatically see what are the good things in your resume what are the not so good things in your resume excuse me in your resume and it gives your resume a score so what we are going to discuss over here is basically some tips and tricks to make sure that your resume gets a high score in the ats system right so there are five points that we have to keep in mind while doing that right um highlight your technical skills make sure to list your technical skills and qualifications in a clear and concise manner to increase the chances of it being picked up by the ats so whatever technical skills that you have right say someone is uh, someone is very good with um, security engineering some someone is very good with uh, you know coding softwares right someone is very good with data data crunching or data engineering if they call it right all these are very technical skills these are very high level technical skills right so it is of good practice to highlight these technical skills then use industry specific keywords ats systems use keywords to categorize information so be sure to use industry specific terms and technologies that relate to the job that you are applying for so someone had already asked this question that how should or what should we include so that people read my resume right so for whatever job that you are applying to each job has some technical keywords some technical skills that are required right for that you need to use these industry specific keywords to get that match to get bang on onto that right keep your cv concise and to the point ats systems have limitations on the length of the cv so only include the most relevant technical experience and qualifications this is to answer the question someone had asked that can we have cvs that are more than a pager it is not of good practice to have cvs that go more than a pager so as good practice please keep your cv as concise as possible preferably a page if it is anything beyond a page it's problematic use a clean and standard format ats systems are designed to scan and categorize information so using a clear and standard format such as times new roman or arial can help them pick up your key information so if if your cv is not designed well it is very untidy it is very dirty it's very hodgepodgey then the ats system or the ats scanner won't pick your resume well right so always always make your cv which is very clean and it is very easy for them to pick up things from your resume avoid using graphics or tables ats systems struggle to process visual elements so it is best to avoid them to increase the chances of your cv being picked so again continuation to the previous point please don't use a lot of visual elements to showcase your cv please keep it as clean as possible and as neat as possible because it is very difficult for these ats systems to pick up images so till the time it is clean simple it gets picked up save your cv in a compatible format many ats systems prefer a pdf or a word document so make sure you make sure to save your cv in one of these formats to ensure compatibility right what i mean over here is you need to have your cv in a pdf or a word format for for the ats system to basically pick up your resume 
if you are having it in some completely different format it will be very problematic so over here again i would like to take a pause and open the discussion to questions before i take up one or two cvs of the people who are here and analyze it so any questions guys any any questions guys any questions hello yes hi sir yes uh, sir uh, i submitted my resume uh, like for the checking so like when we can accept like uh, about the feedback um so again i mean i i i i mean i'll try to analyze and sh share or show one two resumes right now itself i don't know if it will be possible for me to um, you know look at all the resumes but i have picked up one two resumes which i would want to discuss over here on this call right so i will be doing that right now excuse me sir yes sir i have sent the link of my profile for portfolio to you sir i saw your message let me let me uh, you know pick that up if there is time that is there on the at the end if you have any questions till now with what i have asked that would be great like we can address that anything else um someone had actually asked a question saying how to know about industry specific keywords rather i think it it basically uh, you know a simple google search will also help you understand what are some industry specific keywords that are there uh you don't really need to do a lot of research just a simple google search will help you understand that but say if you are applying for a hardcore coding or a software engineering job then you'll have to talk about the different things that you've built using software engineering and all of that right so those are industry specific keywords like in terms of what language you've used etc 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 but again a very simple google search would help you get that but yeah that's that's essentially and again i don't know how many of you guys know of chat gpt but even by asking chat gpt that hey i want to build a resume for this this position what are some of the key words that i should be using in my cv and you get an answer through that as well does that make sense uh jatin some companies use it some companies don't use it so i don't i don't know or i'm not too sure who all use it who all don't use it but as a general practice of what is there in the industry <coughs> i feel majority of them do use it does that answer your question cool uh so now i'll probably share my screen with someone's resume and uh, i don't know if this person is here on call or not his name is aryan yadav aryan are you here aryan yadav okay cool so guys whatever discussion we've had till now oh yes aryan you are there cool so guys whatever discussion we've had till now over here right looking at aryan's cv can you guys tell me what are the things that he has done well and what are the things that he could have done better you can answer this question using chat guys anything too much visuals okay anyone else any other suggestions no links font size font size okay no links that's okay that's good anyone else
no college cgpa okay that's a good point pick in resume sorry profile pick in resume right right correct that's correct anyone else any suggestions any other suggestions can highlight more points okay not able to pick up keywords <laughs> okay no soft skills okay so okay thank you guys for your suggestions some of it were bang on correct some of it were not very correct but uh, i'll tell you what's right and what's wrong right so first of all uh, you should not include your picture in your resume it's it's of no use there is no value add in terms of putting your image on the resume doesn't doesn't really help in any which way right so putting your image on the resume is is not value adding okay again this part is not required so technically what you need to understand is uh, aryan especially you you wasted so much space in your resume just because of adding a picture and two lines about yourself which i could have understood by your cv as well right so there is no reason why you added all these things correct so don't add your picture don't add such paragraphs it does not add value right now coming lower into the cv <coughs> excuse me aryan has done well in terms of adding his education but um, one thing that aryan could have done better is basically talk about a cgp as well which someone rightly mentioned on the chat so cgp is something that could have been mentioned aryan which is not there um good that you mentioned your skills it is very important for you to have your skills mentioned over here in terms of all that you are proficient in again for our freshers perspective what aryan has done over here while he has listed his projects is good right because he has spoken of what all he has made what was that particular project about what were the technologies used right so if i am a recruiter and if i am going through his projects i know that aryan knows dart flutter firebase uh, sql c++ um html css java right so that's something uh, that that aryan has done really well in terms of achievements aryan that this is again a very good point wherein he spoken of the different achievements he's had till now right uh certifications also a very great addition interest also a very great addition another thing possibly that uh, aryan you could have added to this resume is um, basically talking about your coursework you could have spoken in terms of what courses you studied what all things did you study in college right so that's another pointer that you could have added again the format is good for tech cvs it makes sense to follow a double column format but again the additional things like this part is something that could be avoided also aryan and this is not just for aryan but this is for everyone else who's on the call right never keep white spaces it is always it is always good practice to not have white spaces right there are a lot of these white spaces that are there it is not good to have white spaces essentially because this just makes the cv look odd so whenever you guys are making cvs please make it a point that white spaces are not there right so i'll again stop sharing open this to everyone are there any doubts questions suggestions on this guys any doubts suggestion questions whatever gorav these my questions oh gorav there are a lot of websites that you can you know use to build cvs let me just share a few with you
I'll just put this link. This might be of help to everyone over here. So this is one website that has a lot of different links. Uh, yeah, Canva is for sure there. Canva, is there any different format for CV for different streams? So generally, you know, for engineering, it is of good practice to have a CV, which is one pager. There could be a single column CV as well. That could be multi column CVs as well. But the practice or the good practice over here is to essentially keep it under a page. If it is going beyond a page, there is a problem. It is always, always, always advisable to have it under a page, right? Uh, is declaration at the end necessary? No, Gaurav. Those are very um, formality driven things. There is no need to have declaration per se, but as a practice, right? It is of very, it is of very much importance that you need to have a lot as a fresher, right? It is very important for you to have a lot of projects, a lot of coursework, a lot of online certifications in your CV that can showcase your interest in this domain that can showcase why you want to do this or why you want to be here, right? Okay, someone has asked, is there a difference between CV and cover letter? Okay, that's a very good question, right? So CV is basically one page of all that you've done in life, right? Your education, your work, your projects, blah, blah, blah. Cover letter is basically a letter or a write-up that you send to a potential company that you send to people asking them why or telling them rather, not asking them, telling them why should you be hired for this position or why are you the best candidate for this position? Cover letter is basically that wherein you are telling people, wherein you're telling your employers that, Hey, please hire me for this position, right? That is essentially what a cover letter is. Uh, how to hide white spaces. So Jatin, the easiest way to hide these white spaces is to make sure that you have more content, right? Like, um, Okay, if we are freshers and we haven't done any courses and internships and are learning from YouTube and other sources. Uh, so Jatin, if you don't have anything, right, write about your projects, write about the different projects that you've done, write about, say, coding competitions that you might have taken part in, write about different um, coding challenges that you might be solving, say, on a lead code or a code chef or, or Kegel for that matter. But these are the only ways you can fill it, right? Even if you're learning, the best way to put into practice what you're learning is by doing projects, is by doing competitive coding. So all that can be filled in to make your CV more verbose, if I may say so, and reduce the white spaces. Um, does that make sense? Sir, is there any site that gives projects? Um, so Jatin, I mean, there are no sites per se that gives projects. You will basically have to build projects on your own, right? So the way to do this is that you can, you know, imitate other projects that have already been done. Like that's the first step, right? You try to copy projects that have already been done and you try to replicate uh, them essentially as starting and then why once you move forward you start building projects on your own objective section i don't understand gora what is objective section uh and again gora there is no such thing as objective section right i like i already mentioned you need not give one paragraph about who you are or why you are doing what you are doing right that is very much evident or visible from your cv adding such objective section is not necessary okay i am looking for 
so uh, sanjay this is something that we'll be covering in tomorrow's session in terms of how to get jobs and internships so we will discuss this in detail tomorrow uh, uh so San uh, gorav i think uh, the team from my ways will send you all whatever website links that i have mentioned so don't worry it will be sent to you cool guys uh, so that was it from my side for today's session tomorrow's session will be all about personal branding and how to get jobs and internships but uh, yeah that is essentially it from my side and kashish you can take over right so firstly thank you so much mr samarth for taking up this session and clearing the doubts of the students so um now i would like to tell everybody that we will be rolling out a uh, interest form in the chat section that you all need to fill because from that we will be marking your attendance and will be giving you certificate for this particular session and you need to come tomorrow as well because the certificate is for both the days third and fourth adding on to that uh, once you submit that uh, interest form then we'll be sharing all the resources and websites and templates templates mentioned by our mentor we are mail right so i would like to uh, request uh, the myways team to kindly put the interest form in the chat section yes so here it is guys kindly uh, fill that out adding on to that uh, sir would you like to add anything like is there anything that you would like to tell our students uh no i think kashish that is it from my side <laughs> i think i have i have been the only one who has been talking um so guys when you come tomorrow right please uh, you know be more you know what should i say conversational ask more questions because it's being done for you guys right if you don't ask questions it won't be of sense right so be be more uh, question oriented to be honest right also we are sharing the mentors profile in the chat box you all can follow uh, mr samarth on his linkedin and engage with his content right so it is in the chat box so kindly follow him for more such updates and insights right adding on to that uh, we are also sharing uh, the social media handles of my ways so that you guys stay updated about our upcoming master classes and the sessions we are going to take and tomorrow as well that is 4th february exactly at 5 pm we will be coming with another session with mr samar tolli that he just shared it will be about job finding internship opportunities and personal brand 